Okay, everyone, so here is the start of the Walmart haul. And again, I'll put the total on the screen somewhere. And I also, from Walmart, have items that we've already used or tore apart and froze. So I'll have pictures of those items as well. All right, so I'll have, probably have like three different sections. I'll have a non-food section, this section. Uh, after this, I'll just bring on boxes that I took the products out of and froze them. So I'll show you that. And yeah, so you'll have probably three, three to four sections of Walmart here. And mostly, almost everything is for stock up. So Walmart is mainly a stock up haul. If you recall, I used to do monthly hauls and I used to stock up really well. And then we went to weekly. Uh, and part of the reason was because we missed a lot of weekly sales on meats and stuff. So once I did the monthly haul and spent that money, there was nothing left in case there was good meat on sale. So now we just do it weekly, but we were just kind of running out of stuff. So uh, this one was, and I left my list at home, so this one didn't go as well. Uh, but everything here obviously is going to be used and is for stock up. So let's get into it. So the first thing, this is more of a snack item. Uh, this is string cheese. And my favorite, I think we like the Crystal Farms the best. So as you can see, already open and some eaten. So <laughs> uh, we do like Crystal Farms string cheese. And I only get it at Walmart because I don't think uh, Kroger carries that. All right, so that's that. And then I am running very low on brown sugar. So I picked up one bag of brown sugar. And I'm also running low on powdered sugar. So I picked up one bag of that. So that's some stock up items. Over here, I needed carrots for when I made that beef stew. But this five pound bag of carrots is all Walmart had. So I picked up the whole five pound bag. I used three or five really good sized carrots for the stew and I I sliced them up and I left some slices in a baggie in the refrigerator for uh, treats for Gypsy because Gypsy does eat some carrots as a treat also. So I'm going to keep this in the hallway. All, all of our produce is kept in the hallway. I, I think I mentioned this already during the winter. Uh, for example, we are going through a deep freeze right now, sub-zero temperatures. Uh, today didn't even get to zero degrees. Uh, when we woke up this morning, it was seven below with a real fill of 27 below. So during the winter, all winter long, I keep our produce in the hallway, what I call the hallway. It's kind of like a mud room uh, before you go out to the actual outside. And we have a thermometer in there. And this morning when I woke up and took Gypsy outside, it was 30 degrees in there. <laughs> so that actually keeps our produce fresh longer. So that's where I keep it in the hallway. So that was a long story <laughs> to tell you that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, just keep it in the hallway. And uh, as I need it, I'll grab it. Okay, so I grabbed some El Pato sauce. As you know, I use this in all of our taco meat. And when I make uh, chicken, shredded chicken for enchiladas, tostadas, um, I always put El Pato sauce rather than taco seasoning. And again, the milder of the two is the green one. The yellow one is pretty hot. And I use the yellow one for when I make Glen salsa. So I picked up four of the green, two of the yellow for stock up. So that way we always have El Pato sauce in the house. And I believe they're the cheapest at Walmart. They're like 93 cents or something like that. And over here, got a box of 50 quart size storage bags. And then the, this is all they had for paste picante sauce in the hot. In the Yeah, Glenn likes the hot. Usually I buy them the little bit bigger one, but they only had the small one. 
And then, okay, I lied. When I said the nutty bars were all the sweets I bought, I lied. <laughs> uh, so Glenn's been wanting a German chocolate cake with German chocolate frosting. And so I'm going to, I bought him a German chocolate cake mix, but I'm going to make homemade German chocolate frosting. And I'm going to do that tonight. So after I get done with all the hauls, I'll probably make that cake already so I can get that going. I don't eat German chocolate cake. Uh, so for me, I have some bananas that need to be used. So I'll probably just make myself some banana nut muffins. I like those. Glenn's not crazy about muffins, so it works out great. All right, so got them that. And then to go along, uh, to I think... I think the frosting calls for some. I got some coconut flakes over here. So got a bigger bag of those. And then again, when we used to do a monthly and stock up, I always stocked up on stuff for baking and making desserts uh, just so we could have them readily available. And then when we went to, again, weekly, I didn't do that anymore. So now we just buy as we need it. But since we didn't need that much this week for our meals, I decided to take that opportunity and stock up on some, some stuff. Uh, I got Glenn one box of the Cook and Serve chocolate pudding. This is the one you heat on the stove. I don't care for this because of that skim on the top. I know you can peel it off, but uh, Glenn likes that. And he likes to have that when we have like cabbage and chopped meat, which is like a basically uh, ground beef and cabbage, but he likes to have that when we have that. So I just like to have that on hand in case we decide to have that. Also, um, we make like quick pudding, uh, pudding pies. Uh, so I picked up two boxes of banana cream pudding and I'll usually use that for a banana cream pudding pie and chocolate so i got two boxes of chocolate i also use that for pudding pie so i uh, haven't made one in a while but uh yeah just stock up on those in case we decide to make one and then stuff over here i am almost out of flour so i picked up this 10 pound bag of flour and then when i got home there was a surprise waiting outside the door which I'll show you in a, a daily vlog video when I do the friend mail. I'll show you on, on that. But something that was in there, well, all of what was in there, uh, basically gave us more stock up on baking items. All right, so that worked out really nice. That was really sweet of that person. And uh, yeah, it was a surprise, and I was very happy to see what was inside. All right, so I got a jar of goober grape. I love goober grape. Yes, we have peanut butter. Yes, we have jelly. But there's nothing like goober grape. <laughs> Sometimes when you, when I want a snack, a goober grape sandwich with a bottle of water is all it takes for me. So there's that. And I don't buy it every week. I don't buy it as often as I used to. When I used to work a full-time job, a traditional job, I used to have this in the house all the time because sometimes that's just what I took to work. All right, uh, cocoa powder. I'm almost out of that, so I picked one of those up. And then Cool Whip. I picked up one because we still have one in the freezer, but I always like to have at least two of them in the freezer for desserts. Again, I don't have a, a dessert planned out for any of this. It's just stock up. And Coffee Mate Creamer, Coffee Creamer. Uh, Glenn's almost out of his coffee creamer. Last time um, I bought coffee and this time I bought coffee mate creamer. So so there's that. And a uh, two pack of cream cheese. I always like to have cream cheese in the house along with all the other baking stuff because you can mix a lot of the stuff like Cool Whip and cream cheese for a no-bake cheesecake. But I just like to have it in the house. And the reason I only always just pick up a two-pack is because I do not freeze cream cheese. I used to, but what I found was, for those of you that don't know, 
and it may not be for all brands, but I know Great Value and Kroger brand do. When they thaw out, the texture is very gritty, and I do not like that whatsoever. So I only pick up a two-pack, keep it in the refrigerator. It stays good as long as it's not open. Once I open them, I try to use it as a whole. All right. And then I got a container of plain yogurt, and that's to make Gypsy's uh, homemade FPs. You can see down on the screen what FP is, but a 32 ounce. And I just add a smashed up banana and uh, honey and peanut butter to it. And then I just put them in little containers, freeze them, and she has her homemade FPs. I can't say it because she will come running for them. <laughs> All right. And this is this is really convenient. Um, these twist-off tops. This is evaporated milk, uh, 17 fluid ounces. So this is going to be used for uh, the German chocolate frosting. And it's really convenient. So what you don't use, you can just uh, put your top back on and put it in the refrigerator. But I will use most of this, uh, this because it calls for a cup of evaporated milk. So that's that. And this, this goes along with uh, frostings. <laughs> so I have learned a good recipe for chocolate frosting. So I no longer buy chocolate frosting. I make homemade cream cheese frosting, so I no longer buy it. I'm going to make a homemade German chocolate frosting, so hopefully I never have to buy that. And this is the last one I need to learn how to make. Um, some of you have told me what it is, but um, I just bought it one last time before I try to make it. Fluffy white frosting. It's not vanilla. It's not cream cheese. It's just fluffy white. I love this stuff on chocolate cake. <laughs> so as you can see, there's chocolate cake on. But anyway, I bought it one more time and then I need to learn how to make it. I need to try it so I don't ever have to buy a, fro a tub of frosting again. So, all right. So that is that this part of the Walmart haul. And now I, I'm going to put all this stuff away and bring on the next section. All right, everyone, so here is the next batch of uh, stuff from Walmart. Again, all these boxes are empty, so anything in a container is already emptied. All right, so I'll show you what we got. So over here, we got a gallon size uh, jug of canola oil. And if you know me in the past, I always like to have at least a gallon of canola oil. And when I'm halfway done with that, I like to have a backup. So I still have a little bit left of my previous container. And now I have a backup. So. All right. Uh, this two pack of pie crust. Again, I don't have a need for them right now. But I like to have them. Going with all the desserts, I like to have stuff on hand. In case I decide to make something. Flour tortillas picked up a this is a 10 pack of medium size uh somebody had asked if i ever just made my own i did <laughs> i did not too long ago it was a couple months ago um and it was complete fail now when i was little i made some with my grandma and my mom uh, my as i was growing up my mom and dad uh just always they once in a while bought the tortillas but they usually made them now, for us, Glenn doesn't like flour tortillas. So for me, and I don't eat them every single day, I guess I don't want to make fresh and have them go bad because as somebody said in the, in the comments, I think it was about bread, when you make it fresh, it goes bad faster because it doesn't have all those preservatives. Preservatives. Um, so I guess that's the reason I don't make them is I'm the only one that eats them. And sometimes it takes me a while to even go through a 10 pack. So I, I just don't want to make a bunch of tortillas and then have them go bad. Yes, they do taste better. Um, I guess for the, the cost, I think this was $2 for 10 
and uh, I think I'll just stick with that. You know, if if we had a family, if we had kids and and others that we were feeding, that would be the way to go to save on money, because with kids and everything, I knew as we were growing up, we went through tortillas like crazy. We had tortillas every single day, almost with every single meal. Um, and I've said this in the past, we didn't grow up uh, with a lot of money. And a lot of our meals contained refried beans, uh, papitas, which are diced potatoes. We grew up calling them papitas with chorizo and egg. Uh, a lot of times that was our meal every day. And sometimes a couple day times a day with tortilla. So we ate a lot of tortilla, so they made tortillas. I don't go through that many as an adult now. Um would I, I don't I wouldn't mind eating that stuff. <laughs> um but I like the foods that I grew up with. Um but that's my reason I guess for not making them myself. I'm the only one that eats them, and I, it takes a while for me to just go through a whole pack. So I hope that answers the question, <laughs> a, a roundabout way of answering your question. All right, so now let's go through this ready-made food. So a lot of times we struggle as to what to have for lunch, and we just like to have quick stuff on hand. And... But we don't buy it like every single time we go shopping, like corn dogs. You see two different boxes of corn dogs here, but we don't buy these all the time because you can get sick of them. Yeah, I can just throw them in the freezer. So the reason I have Great Value brand and State Fair brand, we usually would just buy State Fair. Great Value brand is a dollar cheaper, but I just wanted... I guess to see what the ta difference in taste is. Is there a difference um, for that dollar? Would we just buy great value? So, and I wanted Glenn to see that difference as well. Now he actually liked, he actually loved the coating on the great value brand, um, but he liked the hot dog better on the state fair brand. For me, didn't make a difference. <laughs> um, I did notice only because I don't think I cooked it long enough that the State Fair coating was a little more clitchy than the Great Value. Um, but Glenn said the hot dog itself, the first time we had them, uh, like when you get car oil or oil on your hand, um, it tasted like <laughs> that type of oil. But I didn't taste that. Um, so take it for what it is. I don't see a difference in the two. I would probably just get great value. Um, I don't think Glenn's given me his definite answer as to which one he would want me to get. But that's why I got the two. So now we got, I think we've already eaten all the great value ones. And we still have state fair. So that was my reasoning. So I hope that helps you out if you're wondering what the difference in taste is. Okay, so Hungry Man. TV dinners. I don't like TV dinners. Uh, but again, going back to that quick meal, even like if Glenn's hungry at night, later on at night, um, TV dinners suck. Really, <laughs> I guess that's all I can say is they suck. Um, I didn't eat any of them. Glenn had them. And he even said, we don't have to buy them anymore. <laughs> but sometimes it usually takes a couple of times of saying that to really uh, uh, say, no, don't buy TV dinners. <laughs> but these suck. Honestly, if it's your first time eating this boneless fried chicken one, it wouldn't be bad. But they've gotten so bad at putting the chicken right in the middle of the mashed potatoes and corn inside the brownie mix. It's just like so much work to separate it all. But, and it doesn't even really taste that good, honestly. TV dinners suck. We won't, I won't pick them up for us anymore. I just, yeah, they suck. Uh, 
roasted turkey one. He used to love that one, but he doesn't like it anymore either. So, <laughs> so and they're not cheap. TV dinners are not cheap. If you compare it to going to McDonald's or something, getting a, a meal or something, it's not that much cheaper than that. Um, but it's just not worth the money, honestly. Yeah, that's all I guess can say about that. Uh, eggs, 18 pack of large eggs. It's empty. I put them in the refrigerator and we only have six left. <laughs> so, and I'll be using those for baking the German chocolate cake and my muffins. And I'll just pick some up Thursday after the morning pantry. I'll stop at Pick and Save, get what I need, eggs, potatoes, whatever. Um, but I think from now on, I'm going to be buying two of these, especially because it's winter and I can keep one container in the hallway where it's really cold. It'll just keep them cold. And sometimes I actually just keep them all out there. Never had a problem with that. All right. Uh, encores. I don't know if you're familiar. They're just like a frozen, uh, like a TV dinner, but it only comes with the meat. So there's six Salisbury steaks and there's a lot of gravy in there. This I would get over a TV dinner. So what we would do with this for a quick meal is I would put this in the oven and then I would just make some instant mashed potatoes. And we sometimes we just have open face sandwiches with that. So instant mashed potatoes, bread, Salisbury steak, you have open face sandwiches and there's a ton of gravy in there. So I would definitely keep buying encores just for those quick meals. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And then the last thing over here, uh, vinegar. We're almost out of vinegar, so I just picked up some. Um, we don't use it too often, but sometimes you do it for like smells. But I use it in some foods, like a broccoli salad. No, is it a broccoli salad? Yeah, I think it's in a broccoli salad and uh, some other stuff. So picked up one gallon of vinegar. And I think, um, but like I said, there's some foods here. Like I did pick up at Kroger or Pink and Save. I picked up avocados, which I already ate. I uh, picked up bacon at Walmart, so I'll just throw all those pictures on the screen for you. So that way you get a real feel of <laughs> what we all bought. All right, I'm going to put this, and then I have one last section of non-food items. Okay, so here is the non-food items. Oh, actually not on here are some cans of cat food that I picked up for the kitties. Um, so here is the other non-food items a uh, six pack of triple rolls of paper towels uh, Glenn likes to use bounty so I am actually getting better at not using paper towels for everything um, especially like drying dishes I'll let them air dry mostly but if I need to dry them I started just using my kitchen towel and doing it that way I'm not saying I'm perfect um, but I've gotten a lot using them a lot less than what I used to now in the summertime paper towels usually keep one in the truck one in the trailer and one in the garage so that takes up four rolls right there or three rolls <laughs> so yeah I can count <laughs> but yeah using them a lot less uh Glenn still uses some for what he does, but um, I'm getting better at it. So the last time I bought one, uh, a pack that I ordered from Walmart or picked up from Walmart was November 9th. I just went and looked back. So this is, it was the same pack, six triple rows, and that had, that lasted over two months. Now for us, now for you guys, some of you that those might last forever. And some I know some of you don't even use paper towels. Uh but for us that's a long time for one pack to to last. And I still actually no I don't. So <laughs> actually yes, yeah, still still one is being used. But uh so yeah, just a little background. Um getting better at not using paper towels for everything. 
All right, and Avino lotion. Uh, that's my favorite lotion to use, especially in the winter time when my skin gets so dry. Avino works very well for me, and my skin doesn't crack as much as it used to. So I, when I wasn't using Avino, my skin used to crack like crazy, and I used to just my fingers and my knuckles just would be bleeding, and it was horrible. But it, it's gotten a lot better since I used Avino. It does work. <laughs> and got this 50 ounce jug of uh, Equate hand soap, a refill bottle. So we still have some our, of our last one, and that actually lasted a really long time. But uh, again, if you know me, I like to have a backup ready to go. So I, I just want to get back to like keeping stock on stuff. And then Equate brand uh, like pain medicine or pain pills. So Glenn used to like to use Tylenol extra strength for his headaches or whatever. And then one day I brought him home the Equate brand and now he uses Equate brand. So he thought they work just as good and they're much cheaper. So um, for me, uh, these... Equate brand of Tylenol don't work as well for me. What does work for me is naproxen. So I usually get naproxen. He gets the Equate brand of Tylenol. And I have a whole bottle of naproxen. But again, I just want to be stocked up on stuff. Um, for those times that you need it, you run out. And I just want to have it. <laughs> So, um, I don't need it right now. I'm not using them in case for the occasional headache. But, uh, yeah. So, just stock up on some pain meds there. Or pain pills. Alright. So, that is the end of the Walmart haul. Um, now, I'll put the pictures up of stuff that wasn't shown here. Because it was used already. Uh, so, yeah, and that's going to do it for this video. So, me making the German chocolate cake and the frosting will be on a different video. But that's going to do it for the grocery haul stock up video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I talked a lot, but I kind of like to explain sometimes why we get what we get and how we use it or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Stop the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate all of you. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.